So the last thing we're going to talk about in the old presentation arena, we just talked about Kerberos that kind of supports it. Is um, So, um, so uh, the benefit merit it removes password guessing. And uh, that helps quite a bit. Um, but uh, there's an additional, but there's a couple things going on. One is that it sort of theoretically is the best that can be done in terms of hiding the password. The other is that, um, probably a better way of looking at it is, um, we're going to talk next about a protocol uh, which um, basically identif you identify yourself to somebody without the person actually having to know the secret. And you identify yourself by the possession of the secret. You prove that you have the secret. Okay? And, and the person will somehow know that that secret is what it is that identifies you. But you will not have revealed the secret to the person. So no matter how many trials you have, a protocol, um, the server can't, cannot pretend to be you. Okay. So this would be a situation where, like, you uh, are supposed to produce your driver's license. Instead, you produce this little card, this little, little tiny card, and you twirl it around a little bit, and the person walks away hypnotized thinking that it's you. Okay? But they can't reproduce that. Okay. And um, it's not a fake in the sense that, that only only you could do the little Chinese card trick. Okay. So um, here's how it goes. Let me sort of walk through this. Um, you have to begin. It it, it it has to do with the way this works. We did an abstract setup for this, but. Um, We're going to look at the situation where you take an integer n, which is the product of two distinct primes. And these are going to be big, 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 big um, numbers. Okay. Okay. And the deal that we're going to use is that although um, the map going from x to x squared is a smart n. That. Well, that's of course an easy thing for anyone to do. You just multiply it by itself, reduce, divide by n, and take the remainder. The square root map is um, not known unless you factor. So the inverse of squaring mod n does not necessarily have to be easy thing to do. 
If you factor n, and so you want to take the square root mod of prime p, actually there are algorithms for that. Okay. And depending upon how p is built, uh, there are actually pretty simple formulas. But as soon as you take two primes and multiply them together, all bets are off. And so the square root map is um, as far as two. In fact, all you can really do um, is either factor and or dumb thing, which is just start trying to square numbers until you get the one that squares to the target, and then you have the square root. But that's all you can do is just sort of plug, try and plug numbers into your computer and try. Because it's mod n, I mean, you can think, well, maybe I can sort of do successive approximation, like the square roots over the integers can be done by successive approximation. Just square 12, if it's too small, you try 25, if it's too large, you try 6, and you can sort of binary search, but because of the wrap over with squaring with mod, you can't do that. There's no way to sort of search. That search depends upon continuity and expectations that the small things for the small things just bubble around it actually use the squaring function in the forward direction to approximate the square root. You can't do that mod n. So um, that's what we're going to use. And I, so the thing is, um, so what the Shamir does is um, I will be identified by n, which is public. Which I will have created by choosing two primes, P and Q, multiplying together. But P and Q as separate numbers, I factor of n, I will keep secret. So what identifies me as me, okay, is that I know the factors of n. And the way I'm going to prove that is by showing my great facility and taking square root of mod n. Okay. So we'll engage in a protocol in which um, which would be so challenge response, um, in which uh, you send me some numbers and I square root them, and then when you're satisfied that this guy must know the factors, then it's me. Um, now, it doesn't help the server at all um, do any challenges later on because um, 